Fake news has become such a well-known term, it'll probably make its way into the dictionary. It was featured on last night's 60 Minutes, as one man claims to believe every fake news headline he pushes out. Legal and media analyst Lionel of Lionel Media is on top of this story for us. Lionel, last night's 60 Minutes was a look into the real fake news, not what the president calls unflattering stories. As our media analyst, your thoughts on the way they covered fake news? Well, first of all, this has nothing to do with fake news. This is about censorship. This is a label that is being used, which ultimately seeks to, uh, to quash, to squelch, and to stop any voices, whether it's alternative, foreign, citizen journalism, anything that they consider to be not real. Now, the first question, Simone, and I am a lawyer and I love definitions. What is fake? Fake versus wrong versus erroneous, versus exaggerated, versus negligent. I don't know. And what you're seeing right now is ultimately there's going to be the move to have censorship algorithms, to have filters put on every conceivable aspect that you enjoy when you go to enjoy what we consider to be unfettered access to the internet. People like Facebook, it'll start off with Facebook and Twitter, and they'll pick somebody such auspicious and, 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 and well-known organizations to filter the truth like Snopes or PolitiFact, and you'll one day type something and it will reject it. And after all, we'll say, well, this is fake. Well, who gets to decide what that is? And what's also amazing, Simone, is when you consider what fake news is, should we consider, for example, reports that there were weapons of mass destruction, or is that wrong news? See, because I don't mean to be uh, uh, persnickety about definitions, but it means a lot. And when you also consider the fact that this country, starting in the 50s, through Operation Mockingbird, utilized the CIA to work hand-in-hand -hand with mainstream media to actually conduct and to carve and to create specific news, also known as propaganda, do you know the irony of having some of the same people today call for this purging of fake news? This is some of the most dangerous stuff that we as American citizens have ever been presented. Because when you see 60 Minutes present this, people out there are going to say, yes, get rid of the fake news. Who decides? Okay, so it sounds like you support fake news, Lionel, and I want to get your response to that because we're not just talking about news that might be wrong we are we are talking about news that's being put forth to the public that looks like it comes from a credible media organization and it's its purpose is really to fool the public so do you support the liberty of being able to i guess promote and spread and disseminate fake news Absolutely. The First Amendment of the Constitution deals with an unfettered ability for you and me and citizens to put out what we like. Now, I may call it parody. If you go back and look sometimes at what these folks consider to be fake news, it was parody and satire, poor at that, that was misunderstood. How dare anybody tell me? what is real and what is not. Now, here's what we do. If we don't like a particular site, let's say Simone News or, or this, then what they do is they go elsewhere or complain or sue if there's libel or slander or defame, any kind of defamatory statement. But to have somebody come in a priori through some type of initial form of censorship, some prior restraint, and to cut off somebody's ability to speak because they have been tattooed or labeled as purveyors of fake news, this goes to the very essence of what freedom of speech is. Who is it who decides what's fake and what's not? If something is wrong, like I said, reports of weapons of mass destruction mm -hmm. or people who beat the drumbeat to war, if it's wrong, then what you do is you go elsewhere. But as long as we have regular citizens clap like barking seals whenever they hear this, as though somehow truth is going to triumph, we are, we are headed down some very serious conditions that I hope we never see. This is dangerous stuff. Legal and media analyst Lionel of Lionel Media giving us his take tonight. Thank you so much, Lionel. Thank you.